Hi, this is Nomad Dimitri, and winter has finally arrived, and with it, the big snows. And with the big snows, this snow plowing and the cleaning of the alley to the garage are uh, one of your favorite things to do in winter. In fact, I kind of like it. It's actually a Zen thing for me. Uh, I kind of think of it as as you know as Zen as kind of the monks in a Buddhist monastery kind of playing with the little stones the little pebbles and kind of grating them and making them wonderful shapes um, but for most people especially for those that have to wake up early in the morning uh, cleaning up the snow is not a great thing um, it's incredible how if you listen to the hype uh, how we should be expecting that this should really be done by some kind of high technology device. I mean, why don't we have a, some kind of high technology device to do this? I mean, we're talking about 3D printing and the bullshit is that 3D printing is going to change your life. It's not going to, um, unless you're a super geek and you like to play with printing. Uh, kind of tiny little Star Wars figurines or things like that. And then there are drones, and then there is all these the drones that are supposed to be doing everything. I mean, can they help me plow this? Can they help me clean this driveway from snow? No, they can't. Uh, despite all these endless, incredible blah blah about all the wonderful things that high technology is doing, it can't help me with something as basic as this. Um, so, what I'll be using is this, this beautiful thing. This is as high-tech as you get for cleaning snow. It's some kind of gigantic uh, shovel that you kind of push with your entire body. You put it here against your body and then you push it and it collects the snow. Um, but it's important to know, I don't know if some of you may not know that I have a master's in artificial intelligence for one of the more prestigious universities, I would say. Um, so I kind of know the issues. And it's interesting to discuss and to think about why is it such a difficult thing to have um, an AI system clean my driveway. So here's a driveway, okay, here's a driveway, it's I don't know how many meters of it it is, and then is the main road which is actually now snowed as well. So and here's the garage, okay. So this entire kind of little area could be conceivably, instead of it cleaned by me, being cleaned by uh, an AI, an artificial intelligence little robot that's just going to do the job for me. So let's see why is this so difficult. Um, number one, for it to be able to clean, it has to be able to see. Uh, for it to be able to see, it has to understand what it's seeing. So. Here is what it would see. It would see this kind of white expanse punctuated with things such as trees over here. Um, but a very indefinite thing. How do you know what the driveway really is? How do you know where the driveway ends? Here's where the driveway ends and here's where the main road is. How does it know that it ends there and just doesn't go right into the road? Um, how does it know how deeply to shovel? Um, how does it know where, even more difficult problem, what does it do with the snow that it cleans? Let's say it's like beginning to pick up the snow correctly, okay? And it kind of figures out that it shouldn't clean, it shouldn't like bump against the trees. Um, where, how does it know where to put the snow? Somebody's got to tell it. When I clean uh, the, the driveway, because I've been doing it for so long, I know that there are areas that I don't give a shit if they have a, a pile of snow. So I just kind of push it, for example, right over there. Um, and if there's too much snow, then I adjust my strategy and I just push it in some other area. How would the AI system, the intelligence system, know where to put the snow unless somebody told it? So. The problem is, as they say in computer science, the problem of cleaning a driveway, of shoveling a driveway, is non-trivial. Um, because every driveway is completely different, and everybody wants it to be cleaned in a different way. And everyone has different places to, to put the snow um, once it's cleaned, to, to pile it up somewhere. Um, here, a car just drove by. You can't see the difference between the driveway and the road. So the poor robot would just go over cleaning, 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 and it would end up falling on the road um, 
and being crushed by a car <laughs> or even worse crushing a little child merrily going to school on its own um, so so these are when you hear a lot of hype about the robots are coming they will do wonderful things for you uh, they are you know AI is gonna just learn from itself with deep learning and it's gonna be able to do X Y and Z for you all these wonderful things Keep in mind that one of these wonderful things, certainly in the next 10 years, is not going to be a cheap enough robot to clean your driveway. That's too hard of a problem. On the other hand, you can have somebody, if your conversational skills are limited especially, or if your imagination is limited, you can have somebody on your desktop kind of chat with you in kind of conversations like, how was your day today? Oh, fine. How was yours? Oh, great. Uh, did you watch enough TV? Yeah, I watched six hours. Was it fun? Yeah, I enjoyed it very much. Are you excited about the new Star Wars movie? Yes, I'm excited about the new Star Wars movie. This sort of crappy conversation you can have with an AI system and that will come to your, to your desktop or to your bedroom or wherever you want and you'll be able to talk to it. But um, if you want something more sophisticated, like somebody to clean this thing all the way to your house you gotta do it yourself or pay somebody to do it uh noma dimitri up high from the alps contemplating cleaning my driveway and instead talking to you happy holidays and enjoy the winter bye